You uh, you said that you were always an old soul and see the world as if you're 200 years old. I like this line. <laughs> because your creative vision allows you to see the final piece you've created uh, or you're creating very quickly, quicker than others. Um, I, I heard that as if you've almost like lived many lives. So you have this experience that allows you to see the vision. So let me ask you on creativity. Where does this creativity behind RZA come from? This both musically and film wise. That I don't I don't know if I have the answer to that one, right? But is it <laughs> no for seriously, where does yeah. it come from? Only thing I could say about that is that for some reason it, it seems endless. And that's peculiar when I think about it myself, because I was taught a lot of things from the jizzah, you know? Mm -hmm. He introduced me to mathematics. He introduced me to hip hop itself, the break dancing. You know, I got other cousins that introduced me to graffiti, uh, cousins that introduced me to DJ. And like, I realized that I had a lot of introductions, but the jizzah definitely, you know, my older cousin gave me a lot of early inspirations. And not saying that He's not creative, as creative as he was then or now. I just didn't, see, I, like, the wide span of creativity, I don't see him doing that, right? And I don't see my, co you know, the cousins that taught me how to DJ, I didn't see them move from DJ into making the beats. Mm -hmm. You know, my cousin that, uh, you know, who actually got me into instruments, I didn't see him leave funk and rock. He didn't, he didn't go, like I'm orchestra composing now. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I just said to myself, I just accept myself as a artist, as a creative artist, that's what I am. I, 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 that, I have to accept that. Now where it comes from, I don't know if I was to try to try to say where it comes from, like, hey, Give, it, give me, give me, give me some type of answer. Mm -hmm. I'll say from life itself. But what does it feel like? Because you mentioned during this pandemic, for example, for some reason, more came to you in terms of writing. And so, do you feel like you're just receiving signals from elsewhere, or like, do you, do you feel like it's hard work, or you're just waiting? Wow, it's not even waiting. Or no, is it hard work? It's almost like I said in one of my other lyrics. This is for the MC part of it. I said, MCing to me is easy as breathing. So it's like breathing. Yeah, it's just like, in fact, this actually was a scientific scientific <laughs> thing I read about that now that you maybe, now that you said that. You heard this, I know you've had to hear this. Mm. They say that, you know, the atoms in our atmosphere, which seem to be infinite in number, are not infinite in the space they occupy. Mm -hmm. Right, because they're in our atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And so there's a chance that at least one million atoms that you breathed in your life was breathed by Galileo. Mm -hmm. like, you heard this before, right? Yeah. But... Okay. It's very accurate. <laughs> okay. How does your body digest it? Oh, well, let's start at the fact that most of the atoms in our, at the, what that we're made of is from like stars, right? Mm -hmm. From stars burst. So like, we're all really connected fundamentally somehow. And then they get the atoms that make up our body come and leave and the same with the cells that are in our body, they die and are reborn. And we don't pay attention to any of that. That all just goes through us. I don't know. That, that makes me feel like um, I'm not an individual, I'm just, a finger of something much bigger, some much bigger organism. Well, because you're drinking the, the coffee there. Yeah. Right? You're going to digest that. Mm -hmm. You're going to digest those atoms, whether you're going to put them through the bowel or mm -hmm. through the urination. It's coming mm -hmm. out, or maybe you'll sweat it out. Yeah. You might sneeze it out. Yeah. But they're going to make their way out. How do you digest the atoms if you just breathe in Galileo? Right? How do, and that's what I think an artist does. I think something in the artist, it's like some people eat things and they're gonna gain weight. Some people ain't gonna gain weight, they're gonna gain muscle. 
my I'm just giving an, an analogy here. I'm thinking that the artist breathes in and translates it into yeah. the art. First, they got to hear it. I think most of us don't hear that. Like, don't. We receive it, but it just is. Right, it's not. Happen. Yeah, we not have the frequency. I said this to a, about artists. And even, you know, we all can consider ourselves artists in a certain way, but not, you know. Uh, but let's just say there's only one million artists in the world. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is, you know, it's probably 10. With you. Yeah. <laughs> If you divide that into the population, what what would that what what, what part of the table would it be? Uh, a tiny part. Yeah, it might be that, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and yet it's that that inspires that. Oh yeah. And you know what's so crazy about that though? There's also a chance. I'm just going numbers and I'm just hypothesizing with you, but mm -hmm. there's also a chance that all of this is actually informing that. Yeah. The, the artist is just watching this, all yeah. of this, yeah. all the the chaos of this. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's hard to know where the beauty comes from. Is it the artist or the chaos from the? So I just so I say I, I don't I don't have the answer. But I if I was to be forced to say an answer, and you're not twisting my arm, but yeah, <laughs> I'll say I can if you want. Me to. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I'll right. say life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Life. 